And they Lloyd Mesquita, we you from LloydMesquita.com. Who's Lloyd Mesquita and Thinking Personal Branding? The date is 26th, July 2018. Time right now is 10, I think 10.33 or 10.34. Uh, this video is kind of going to be different because it's going to be a video that I haven't made before. It's going to be the first ever video. Uh, in this video, I, I just want to wish my cousin, sister, Patricia Taurus. Uh, she's a Taurus, you know, royal blood. <laughs> I just want to wish her a happy birthday. I think, I'm not too sure, I think she is 43. And the reason why I want to wish her, and I don't wish anybody else, I don't, I hardly wish anybody. I, I don't like wishing people happy birthday because I, I think it's stupid. But the reason why I'm making an exception um, to my cousin's sister is not because she's dying for me to wish her. She doesn't give a damn. But it's out of respect for her uh, that I'm doing this because, um, you know, for those of you who do not know, me and my sister, cousin's sister, we were very close. It's from my mother's side. Uh, my mother's Helen, her mom's Hilda, eldest sister in the family, the nicest lady in the world. She, I mean, she was the most amazing mother any child could have. So Hilda, auntie, and um, she was my aunt and she was my favorite. Uh, still is my favorite. So she was her mom. And um, so she raised Patricia and uh, Patricia grew up to be the studious girl. She was the first girl in the family, the studious one. She studied very hard, got rank after rank. She is what you call an outstanding student. Well, uh, later on, I was the second. I was the first boy in the family and the second member in the family. I was also outstanding, but my outstanding was I was thrown out of every class. So I was standing out. So in my sister's case, it was outstanding as in first rank. In my case, it was outstanding means standing out. So where my sister, she went through lots of ups and downs. Um, life was never easy, but she excelled. And today she occupies a very uh, you know, successful position in the corporate world. Obviously, I don't want to give up out her details. So she's very successful uh, financially, uh, career-wise. Uh, in terms of her family, she's an amazing mother. She has amazing children. Her children are very gifted and talented. And she has really set the benchmark very high, taking care of everyone in the family. Everyone. And by everyone, I mean everyone. I, if there's any person in the family who has wanted help, she has never said no. She has never shut her doors. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm... You know, I'm just the opposite of my sister. Where she has helped everyone in the family, I've refused to help anyone in the family. And uh, it is this habit and trait of my cousin sister that, you know, that led her to. We had a massive break off in between fight. You know, my ego, <laughs> her ego, egos are a big problem. So we had a argument, massive argument, and uh, we had a fallout. And then we didn't talk to each other. You know, Indian families, too much of drama. So we had like cut tea, you know. I'm not talking to you, you don't talk to me. So it was unspoken rule, we are not talking to each other. And uh, we stayed like that for quite some time. Until, you know, one fine day, I, I called her up um, because I needed help. And this was after quite some time, I, I called her up. I needed help. Uh, I was in trouble and uh, I had no one else to go to, no no other option. And when I approached my sister, uh, cousin, she, you know, why I'm saying cousin is so that you know I don't have an actual sister. So it's not disrespect. So when I approached her, she didn't say, oh, so now you need me, huh? So you're acting smart and all that. She, she could have made me feel like shit. And she could have told me, she could have put me in my place. But she just said, tell me what I need to do. And she helped me. So, you know, um, it's, it's not people who are there for you when times are good. It's, it's people who are there for you when times are bad. And my cousin sister was there for me. So 
I never forgot that. I've always told her how deeply grateful I am to her that she was there for me and I appreciate, you know, I, I really appreciate what my cousin sister did for me. So through this video, I, I want to wish her a happy birthday because she's going to be 43. Not that she's dying for everyone to wish her, but I guess she is one of those people who, who, who values family and who feels good knowing that everyone loves her and uh, sincerely, genuinely appreciates her. So I just thought I'd dedicate this video. It's, just, it's going to be my first ever video that I do this. So I thought, you know, instead of wishing her on Facebook and everyone doing the same shit, you know, since I stand out, I always like to stand out, why not do it this way? Baby, uh, I'm taking video. Uh, I can't show you my wife because she's breastfeeding the baby. You want to wish my sister a happy birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Wait, I, happy birthday. wait, wait. I put camera without showing you. Just show your face. Okay, wish happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, happy birthday. Okay. Uh, sorry, she's breastfeeding my baby. Let's see. Uh, she's breastfeeding my baby. See my baby? Show a baby face. Yeah. Uh, so even baby wishes you happy birthday. Uh, that's your baby one minute. Baby, baby, baby. So as all of us wishing you happy birthday, Pesh. Thanks for being there for me. I I don't know if I can ever be there for you, but. Uh, I appreciate and the reason I'm putting up this video is so that you remember uh, one person in the family at least did some shit different in wishing you I hope I'm the first one if not fuck it <laughs> anyway many happy returns of the day keep getting fucking old and I hope to become as rich and successful like you billionaire <laughs> see you Pesh take care